that is Pat Burrell, Pat the Bat. Crunch, his second home run in as many games. Eight of his 29 career homers have come against the Mets. It's one zip fills. But the always better. dangerous Ray Nunez. He hijacks that baseball. His first home run since September of 99, which also came against the Phillies. In fact, three of his five career home runs have come against Philadelphia. He is a Philly killer. Travis Lee ranging over and about two rows deep. Somehow he gets that baseball. Top nine now. Yoshi Shinjo on second. Jay Payton beating it off the shag carpet and into left. That adds an insurance run, and the Mets go on to win this one. Six to three is the final. The Phillies continue to struggle. They have now dropped five of six. That is no way to catch the Braves. Armando Benitez struck out the side in the ninth. The man is 23 for 23 in save ops. He fanned Burl to end it. Burl had previously been three for three with three home runs against Benitez. Montreal at Atlanta. Expos try to win five straight for the first time since last June. Top five, Orlando Cabrera hits Dallas Perez in the left hand, his pitching hand. Check it out, a cut between his thumb and index finger. Perez needed five stitches. He'll miss his next two starts and is likely headed for the DL Sunday when John Smoltz gets activated. Bottom seven, Bobby Munoz with a shutout going, but Brian Jordan wrecks it. 404 feet is 13th of tied at one. We go to extra innings, in fact. Mark DeRosa versus Graham Lloyd in the 10th. And Mark DeRosa recalled June 1st to replace the injured Rafael for call. Gets his first Major League home run, and it wins it in the 10th. Braves win 2-1, snapping Montreal's four-game winning streak, which Marlins in Florida. Bottom four, Cliff Floyd on Cliff Floyd bobblehead night. Taking Lance Davis deep. He hit two home runs on his own bobblehead night. Reds lead now, just 3-2. Floyd with six homers and 12 RBI in his last six games. Top eight, Ken Griffey Jr. off Brad Penny. And he's going to leg this one out for a triple with that bad handing. Griffey also had a single and a double, but struck out with two on in the eighth in his bid for the cycle. He's in there. Next up, Sean Casey. He will knock this one into center to score Griffey. Casey, three for five, three RBI, busting out of the three for 25 slump. And the Reds beat the Marlins 8-4, snapping a fourth-game losing streak. Cliff Floyd homers in three straight games for the second time this season. Floyd joining an exclusive club. Joining Jim Tomey, Sammy Sosa, and Jason Giambi as players who have homered on their own bobblehead nights. It's already 1-0. Al Martin up with two on. And he just reaches out and sticks it into the football press box. A three-run jack is sixth of the year. The Mariners at four zip after one. Top two, Brett Boone bidding for a base hit. Luis Rivas. And that is a shortstop's arm. Inning over. Bottom two, 4-2 M's. Twins with the bases loaded. Denny Hocking. It's a lazy fly ball. Sleeps late, doesn't do its chores. It's lazy, I tell you. The Twins leave the bases loaded. Bottom of the fourth. They're loaded again for Hocking. And again, he goes right back to center and right back to Mike Cameron. Hocking stranded seven. Seven lobs for Denny Hocking. Bottom nine, bring on Kaz Sasaki. His league leading 30 second save and 36 ops. The Twins strand 14 runners as the M's win it six to three. John Halama banished to the bullpen, gave up just one run and four and a third to get the win. That one run snapped Seattle's streak of 32 and a third shutout innings by the bullpen. The Twins are just three and seven since the All-Star break. Could the Indians pull within two of many? I'm glad you asked. The tribe hosting the Tigers, they are honoring their 100 best all-time Indians, and Jim Tomey's one of them, and Adam Petty John honors them by drilling them in the shoulder. Tommy was okay. Then Willie Blair comes on, and it's the check pitch. You've heard of the check swing? He forgot to throw the baseball. That's a balk. Runners move up. And then same at bat, Travis Fryman to left center. That'll score a run. The Indians take the 3 2 lead. Same inning. It rages on. Two outs now. Holbert Cabrera. Down the line he goes. Cabrera, three for five, three RBI. Ollie, Ollie, income free. And the Indians go up 5-2. Top of the eighth is 7-4. Damian Easley up against Paul Shuey. Robbie Alomar, also one of the 100 top Indians. And the Tribe goes on to win 8-4. Alomar one for five with two ribs. He is leading the AL in batting at 354. Juan gone second at 349. The Indians closed within two of the Twins, the closest they've been since June 30th. Others from the top 100, by the way, Sam McDowell, Rocky Calavito, and Joe Askew. Cheering on the team. 
Eric Chavez, six RBI Friday night, two more on Saturday. That'll bring in Jason Giambi and Miguel Tejada. The A's up two zip. A heat index of 110 in KC. Dan Reichert is a diabetic and he just ran out of gas. Terrence Long. That's off for all Ibanez's glove. That'll score Frank Manichino. It's 4-0. Oakland. Same inning. It's 5-zip now. Billy McMillan is pouring it on. They're teeing off. It's BP. And that one will one-hop the wall. Long and Chavez score. Record with a rough outing as the A's go on to win at 10-1. They are 44-27 and 27 since May 2nd. Only the Mariners have played better baseball since then. They're Kendall and Kendall bombing away. Craig Potkett going back and getting up and bringing it back. Kendall robbed of a home run. Bottom four, Joe Bimel facing Mark McGuire. High and inside. Check that. Strike three. McGuire tries to hand umpire Tim Timmons his bat and helmet, and Timmons is no bad boy. Uh, Mark, uh, here you go. See ya. Bottom six, cards up 3-2, bases loaded, pocket. Tyke Redmond says, I got it, I got it. Just kidding. The ground rule double, two-run score. Cards up 5-2. Top eight, it's 9-2 now. Lutha Hackman, Lutha, facing Keith Osick. The shot to center, look at Jim Edmonds. Jim Edmonds is being Jim Edmonds again. Doing his thing out there. Worth one more look. They should market a video. Jim Edmonds' greatest catchers, $29.99. Operators standing by now. The 21-year-old rookie Bud Smith gets the win to improve to 2-0. Oh. Pocket getting a rare start in left, had a home run and four RBI. By the by, Rick Ankiel struck out 17 batters in seven innings in a rookie league game on Saturday. Two games up on the Astros for the NL Central League. Top one, Dave Malicki, punished by Sammy over the train track. Sosa's 32nd, and it's 1-0 Cubs. Top three tied at one. How about Sammy one more time? His second of the game and 33rd of the year. Sosa's sixth multi-home run game this season. It's 2-1 Chicago. Bottom six, Astros down 3-1, Jeff Bagwell. Taking Kevin Tappany deep the other way, and it's into the bullpen. Bagwell's 27th, ties it at three. Tappany works six innings, allowed three runs on five hits, struck out nine. Bottom nine, Houston down two. Moises Alou up, Lance Berkman on second, two out. Singles up the middle off Flash Gordon. They're going to wave in Berkman, and now Houston is within one with a tying run on base. Next batter, Gordon. Trying to put out the fire, gets Richard Hidalgo to fly out to end it. Gordon's 19th save and 22 chances. Cubs win 5-4, snapping a seven-game losing streak against the Astros and beating Houston for the first lead. James Baldwin off to a rocky start. Second batter of the game at Scott Hatterberg. He doubles down the line. They are going to wave in Jose Offerman. one nothing Boston, but Tomo Oka imploded. Bottom three, bases loaded. Paul Konerko. A hanger high, and he unloads his second Grand Slam of the year, his 20th homer, and it's 5-2 White Sox. Later in the inning, rookie Aaron Rowan. He goes up the middle off Oka. Mark Johnson and Royce Clayton come in 7-2 Chicago. Rowan had four hits, while Oka was shelled, allowed seven runs on six hits and two and two-third, a career-high six walks. Top five, Baldwin settling down, gets Trot Nixon in the sixth. Gets Brian Daubach and Chris Steins. Baldwin retired 15 of 17 at one point, and the White Sox win 10-3, but Boston stays tied with the Yankees for the division lead. James Baldwin trade value is going up. He's, he's in the Bronx Saturday on Old Timers Day. Whitey was there and Yogi too. Top four, the younger guys. Runner right on first for Carlos Delgado facing Keesler to right is 25th, and Toronto leads 2-1. Keesler went six, gave up three runs on four hits, walked four. Bottom five, Yankees down 3-2. First and third for Constantino Martinez. Base hit the other way, scores Chuck Knobloch, and we're tied at three. Bottom seven, Yankees with a chance here. Base is loaded for Jorge Posada. One out, Dan Plezak gets Posada for the second out. Next up, pinch hitter Shane Spencer. Plezak brings him up, and the Blue Jays get out of the jam. Top nine still tied. Second and third for Chris Latham, who homered earlier in the game. Mariano Rivera can handle the comebacker. Carlos Delgado scampers in, and the Blue Jays would add one more to make it 5-3. Yankees with another chance in the bottom of the ninth. First and second, Posada 
Billy Koch gets him his 19th save and 22 chances. The Blue Jays win 5-3. Yankees have lost 7 of 11 since the All-Star break and have now dropped 10 of 12 versus the Blue Jays dating back to last year. Firefighters night. Top five, it's Troy Gloss. This, a two-run shot. It's his second two-run homer of the game, 24th of the season, 101st of his career. Bottom nine, O's down 5-3. And Melvin Mora messing up Troy Percival. That'll score two. Game tied at five. Percival had converted 25 of 26 saves coming in. Top 10, Scott Spezio on third. Two outs, Benji Molina against Alan Mills. The bad hop off Cal Ripken's chest. And that brings in the go-ahead and eventual game winner. The Angels have won five in a row. They're back to 500 for the first time since June. Gloss, the fastest to 100 homers in Angels history. Texas's Darren Oliver loses 2-1 in Tampa, but still ends up with the Rangers' first complete game since Doug Davis last August, a stretch of 135 games, the longest in the majors. Brewers and Padres in America's finest city. Brian Tolbert, don't do it. Tolbert was placed. Oh, he feeds Diva. Devon White had two home runs in this ball game. The first one puts the Brewers up 1-0. Bottom three were tied at two. Max Suzuki to Mike Dar with the bases loaded. Routine ground ball, Mark Loretta. And that's a misfire. Dar's safe. Marcatze scores. Richie Sexton throws home. And Ryan Klesko is safe. So instead of ending the inning, the Padres take the 4-2 lead, and they win by those two runs. In three and a half back of Arizona for the NL West lead and Schilling looking for win number 14. But trouble with the stick top four. Get some chin music from Ryan Jensen. Schilling unhurt. He would gather himself. Bottom four with two strikes on Barry Bonds. Gets him. Bonds 0 for 3 Saturday. Two batters later. Schilling, K's, Rich Aurelia to end the fourth. In the fifth, J.T. Snow check swing. Yes, he went. Pedro Feliz strikes out, and so does Edwards Guzman. In the sixth now, Schilling rings up Benito Santiago. Marvin Bernard, what are you swinging at? <laughs> Finally, Ramon Martinez, Schilling 12 Ks through six with a no-hitter going. He tied Randy Johnson's team record with seven straight strikeouts, including the side in the fifth and sixth. Top seven, they're loaded for David DeLucci. First pinch hit grand slam in Diamondbacks history. DeLucci's first career granny and his fourth pinch hit homer this year. 5-0 Arizona. Bottom seven, no hitter still intact until Armando Rios breaks it up. Schilling went seven innings, allowed just the one hit, struck out 12. Top eight, this is Luis Gonzalez, and that's a home run. Three-run shot, Lugo's 38th, ties Arizona's team record set by Jay Bell in 99, and the Diamondbacks win big 9-2. Kurt Schilling becomes the Major League's first 14-game winner as the Diamondbacks move four and a half games ahead of third place San Fran in the NL West. Giants lose for the third time in nine games, while Arizona improves to 5-5 five and five on its longest road trip of the year. And we'll get started. Sheffield is a pinball wizard. That is a three-run jack, two home runs, numbers 300 and 301. He's got four homers in three games. And then the balls really start going. Top eight, 12-7 Dodgers, bases loaded. Eric Carroll's to the left. That scores a run. Then Adrian Beltre. He shoots one into center. That scores two more. They are starting to wear out home plate. McKay Christensen picked up in the White Sox earlier this month, and that will find the gap, and that will score two more. Alex Cora drives one into right. Where's the tilt on this pinball machine? Next batter, Paul LaDuca, his 16th home run, now batting 344. The journeyman catcher has found a home. Oh, the thematic highlight. The final of 22 to 7. That is the Dodgers' largest output in 58 years. They had five, six, and nine run innings. The Rockies' bullpen gave up 13 hits and 13 runs in three and two thirds. And now this comes two days after Rockies owner Jerry McMorris said he was embarrassed with the team's play. The Rockies have lost 13 of 15.